Hello everyone, we often need to remove components from the board when welding. But some components have many pins and I don't know how to disassemble them. Today, I will talk about it. All you need to prepare is a pointed pair of tweezers and an electric soldering iron. Or you can also back up some flux. Firstly, demonstrate dismantling an IC by inserting tweezers on both sides of the IC. Here, tweezers are like a pry bar, which can be used to pry out the pins when the soldering iron melts them. You can see that directly heating the pins as before cannot directly remove larger components like this. We need to add a large amount of tin to the pins here, so that they can connect the pins at both ends of the IC together. In this way, it can be successfully removed. Remember, the process must be fast, otherwise it may burn out the components or circuit board. When disassembling resistors or diodes, the disassembly method is similar to that of ICs. When disassembling, you can press the circuit board down a bit, but do not use too much force, otherwise it may damage the components. The transistor is also disassembled using a similar method. Components like capacitors with two relatively high pins can actually be quickly removed by hand after melting the pins, which is very simple. Sometimes there is an urgent need for a certain component, but if you can't find it at hand for a while, you can first dismantle a discarded circuit board for use. Actually, dismantling various components is not difficult, as long as you master the method and practice more, gradually becoming proficient in this process will become easier. 